Let's take a look back for a good weekend recap at the games that were. Roadrunners hosted the Wichita Falls Wildcats this weekend, the team that's in second position in the South Division. The Roadrunners looking to stay out of the basement and climb a little bit closer towards that fourth playoff position. They had three games to do it in. Let's start off with the Friday game. It was in the first period, and the Roadrunners had an opportunity after a Kevin Fees penalty put them on the power play. Unfortunately, about a minute in, Ricky Carballo broke away for a short-handed score that put the Roadrunners down one to nothing. Second period didn't get any better for the good guys as DeMontis Sipas and Steven Tilly combined for a pair of scores that put the Roadrunners down three nothing going into the third period. It was in that final frame that Max Harper lit the pipes and was the lone highlight for the Roadrunners on the game, scoring with an assist by John DeRoche and Jeff Mikowski on a power play at 14:32 to bring us to our final of three to one. The Roadrunners came back out on the ice Saturday night with a lot more fire and spirit looking to even the series at a game apiece. In the first period, Wichita Falls drew first blood on a Kevin Fee score at 829. The Roadrunners countering with a Peyton Franti netter assisted by Alex Fry and Jack Tamadio at 1353 and we were all knotted up going into the second. Second period happened much the same way, though the Roadrunners taking a brief lead, Marshall Bowery assisted by John DeRoche and Matt Barnes at 1125 and it was 2-1. That lasted about three, four minutes as Stephen Tilly, combining with C.J. Walker and Ryan Orgel, tied it up to go into the final period at two apiece. It was in that decisive frame that Ilya Skvortsov put the Wildcats back on top three to two. But then Alex Fry and Max Harper, one, two, punched it at the 310 mark and 1104 to give the Roadrunners some hope and a 4-3 lead going into the last half of the final period. Unfortunately, Skvortsov and Jonathan Bendorf combined for another two goals to put Wichita Falls back on top for good at 5-4. And on Sunday, 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 the final game of this three-game set, the Roadrunners and the Wildcats played to a scoreless tie going into the middle frame. And then it was Jonathan Bendorf striking again after the game winner a night previously to put two goals in the net in that second period. Those goals bookended a Peyton Franti score at 9:29, assisted by Kyle Klatt and Brendan Doyle. Wildcats would then go ahead 3-1 in the second period on a Kareem Delaponte score at 9:49. Wildcats would add another goal in the second period at 19:49. Kareem Delaponte splitting the pipes on a power play, and that put the Roadrunners down 3-1 heading into the third. Just into that third period, Marshall Bowery gave the Roadrunners hope, scoring at 109, assisted by Max Harper and John DeRoche, and it was 3-2. But that's when the wheels started to fall off for the home team, as in the last five minutes, Roman Canal, Ricky Caballo, and Ryan Burnett put up three goals for the visiting Wildcats to sweep the Roadrunners with a score of 6-2. to two. The Roadrunners' star performers for the weekend, well, it comes down to John DeRoche, who has been an offensive force ever since he joined the team, putting in an assist on Friday, two assists on Saturday, and another assist on Sunday to wrap it up with four points for the weekend. And the beneficiary of some of that assisting was Max Harper. He had a goal on Friday, a goal on Saturday, also threw an assist on Sunday for his three points. And then there was Peyton Franti, who scored on Saturday, also had a netter on Sunday for two points as well. Rounding out our top four performers was Marshall Bowery, also with a goal on Saturday and Sunday for two goals on the weekend. After the sweep, the Roadrunners fell to 11-19-2-1, good for 25 points in 7th place in the South Division. The good news is, the Roadrunners are just 7 points out of 4th place, which would be good enough for that final playoff position in the South.